Oh yeah, you appreciate it, even though it's hard to hear. If, you know, if you've got food in your teeth, you want somebody to have the courage to say, "Hey, Stacy, you have food in your teeth." Yeah. Right. You appreciate it. Otherwise, yeah. you don't really know. You can't do anything to change it. You know, and it's hard, but I think it's, it's so valuable. I think people would say that about, you know, if you have bad breath, you want your friend yeah. to say, hey, listen, you might want to get a piece of gum. I don't know what's going on. You got bad <laughs> breath. You want that. Yeah, if you still got a tag on a yeah. blouse that you just bought and you forgot to rip the tag off, you want somebody to say it. you've been walking around all day like that. Yeah, it yes. makes you feel kind of foolish. Yeah, I've done yeah. that. I've had that medium sticker on my pants that I bought on the back of my leg that I didn't know, and all of a sudden, end of the day, there it is. Mm -hmm. And how many people probably saw it, and then yeah. no one ever said, hey, you still got your medium sticker on there. Yeah. And, and yet, we want that. And so, uh, how much more when it comes to our personalities mm -hmm. and how we're dealing mm -hmm. with people? Because look, let's just you know, be frank about it. There are a lot of behaviors out there that can be really irritating and problematic for people. Mm -hmm. There's the person who talks too much, mm -hmm. right? They never shut up. Mm -hmm. they don't, and they're not even aware of it. They think they're just perfectly friendly but they never make right. create enough room for two people in the conversation. But instead of telling them telling them that, you end up avoiding them the next time you see them. That's right. Yeah. You see them in the Kroger aisle and you go down to the other aisle because you don't want to have right. to talk to them because you're not really in the mood. Right? right. And so that's a problem, right? They've got to be aware of that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the person that never talks. Mm -hmm. That going to lunch with them is the longest <laughs> hour of your life. Because you're just drawing the questions <laughs> yes. out one by one and yes. that's real work. And yeah. they just don't really take an interest. Mm -hmm. You know, there's the person mm -hmm. who all they ever do is talk about themselves. There's the person that all they ever do is talk about negative things and how overwhelmed they are. That's what dominates their energy. Mm -hmm. right? And we could go, we could list dozens of behaviors. So, uh, so take it a step further. You're talking about how Socrates said, you know, know thyself is critical. But if you can know yourself all day long, but what do you have to do about it? Yeah, now you have to change thyself. Right, so control thyself is the control, next one. So you right. have to be able to do something to modify that bad behavior or that bad habit that comes across to people. That's right. Now, what way. if you're the type of person that says, hey, I just like the person that I am. I'm not, I'm not interested at all in changing myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we know a handful of people like that, right? We both yeah. do. But I think that it's to their own detriment because you can only be as effective as you are able to interact with other people. Right. Yeah. And so if you can't get along and have good relational skills, then you can only go so far. So That's really, right. it's to that person's unfortunate detriment. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's got to be, you know, personal development. I think we would all agree with this. It requires humility because you got to be able to hear feedback. It takes courage. You got to be willing now to do the hard thing to improve. And it takes a real, you said this in the last podcast, it comes from a core belief. And your core belief has to be that I want to be the kind of person that's, that's seeking growth. And if you have those three things, everybody can grow. It's just, 